Before I begin today's message, I want to sincerely thank you for your prayers and your support uh, during this, this incredible time that has hit Texas. Uh, we were luckier than most. Uh, in the beginning, when people were reaching out to me, I said, I'm safe and warm, everything's fine. Uh, but uh, th that changed over time. There was rolling blackouts, and then we had a time with no water, and then a time with busted PVC pipes and uh, trying to get a plumber when everyone across the whole state had busted pipes. That was something, but God blessed us. We're all fixed now. We're back and uh, we're running. We have one more night uh, as this is being recorded. It's, uh, it's a Friday evening that will be in the teens, but it's no longer in the teens in the house. And we have running water. Uh, they say you can't drink it. You have to boil it, but we have water. So uh, I thank you for the incredible reach out that you have made to us. And also during this whole time, we've been praying with people across the state of Texas that are much, much worse than we were. Uh, elderly people that uh, have not had heat in a week. Uh, I can't even imagine uh, being in the house when it's 15 degrees. Sometimes it's colder in the house than it is outside. This weekend I want to talk about expressing a peaceful, comforting nature to those that are in need. You know, when friends or loved ones face challenges, we can help them by expressing our love and giving them our prayer-filled support. That's what we do every day at Positive Christianity, and I pray that you do it too. We undergird the entire system of our lives with our faith that we know that even when things appear so cold in the moment, that things are going to work out together for good. And in this way, we express a patient, loving spirit of the Christ that is within us. And we can call upon this divine nature in our time of need to have expression in our lives instead of being impatient and uh, yelling and screaming we can know that god is going to protect us and protect our friends and our loved ones in the radiant christ spirit it is the warmth of god and it shines forth through us we give that needed word or that act of comfort to anyone that may need it in the moment. And we remember that we are all connected spiritually, that in spirit, in prayer, there is no time, there is no space. We remember Paul's words of mutual love and support to the Corinthians. He said this, through Christ, we share abundantly in comfort too. Our steadfast prayers silently bless those for whom we pray. We glorify God as we declare our divine outworking, and we know that for all those going through the challenge of change or sorrow, or stress for all those that are in need of consolation that God is the answer and that God will bring about the best possible outcome. In 2 Corinthians 1 verse 5 it says, For as we share abundantly 
in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. And I am praying for your comfort today.